Oh, I'm Lucy Liu, a holistic health practitioner and a TCM practitioner. Today, I am going to talk about how to unlock the secret valves on your fingers to boost your health. Did you know that several meridians in your fingers are closely related to the tissues and organs of the whole body? If you scrape your fingers regularly, it can help you stay away from many health challenges and improve your health. And the method is very simple. Let's dive into it. Number one, scraping your thumb can help relieve heart palpitation, chest tightness, and indigestion. The thumb corresponds to the lung meridian in the body and the lung governs the energy of qi flow in the body. If the lung function is impaired, it can affect the heart function due to low oxygen levels in the blood. The energy deficiency in the lung meridian is also linked to the weakness of the spleen and the stomach meridians. Therefore, your thumb corresponds to the heart lungs and the stomach. When you experience heart palpitation and chest tightness, you can scrape the dorsal side of your thumb with your fingers or a scraping board. You can use the scraping board to scrape your thumb regularly to boost the energy flow in the lung, heart, spleen, and the stomach meridians. If you don't have a scraping board at home, you can use a spoon or a coin instead. When scraping, you can apply a little bit essential oils such as lavender to relieve the discomfort. Number two, scraping the index finger can help regulate constipation and the diarrhea. The index finger corresponds to the large intestine meridian in the body, which is associated with the large intestine and stomach. Gastrointestinal dysfunction can lead to constipation or diarrhea. Seniors are more prone to weak gut health, so scraping the dorsal side of the index finger can help improve gut health. For the maintenance of your digestive health, it is a good idea to scrape your index finger at least once a week. Number three, scraping the middle finger can improve insomnia and strengthen the heart. The middle finger corresponds to the pericardial meridian in the body. Insomnia and motion sickness are common health challenges of energy deficiency in the pericardial meridian. The pericardial meridian protects your heart health. When you scrape the dorsal side of your middle finger regularly, it can boost your heart health and prevent heart disease. Number four. Scraping the ring finger can help relieve migraine, shoulder, and neck pain. The ring finger corresponds to the triple energizer meridian in the body. If the energy is deficient in this meridian, the qi or energy and the blood flow will be affected, and migraine, shoulder, and neck pain can easily occur. If you stimulate the triple energizer meridian by scraping the dorsal side of your ring finger regularly, your migraine will go away and your neck and shoulders will feel much better. Number five, scraping the little finger can help boost your immune system. The little finger corresponds to the small intestine meridian of the human body. If the small intestine meridian is weak, it can affect the absorption of nutrients, weak 
gut health and a low immunity. Therefore, the strong energy flow in the small intestine meridian can help absorb nutrients, improve immunity, and increase your energy flow. You can boost your gut health and immunity by regularly sweeping your small fingers dorsal side. For the best result, you can sweep the four sides of your fingers for specific health challenges. Massaging your fingers can also bring you numerous health benefits. Let's look into it. Number six, rubbing the little finger of the left hand helps reduce high blood pressure. Nowadays, many people suffer from high blood pressure. People with high blood pressure often have symptoms such as headaches, heart palpitation, and dizziness. If you rub the root of the little finger of your left hand regularly, it can help reduce high blood pressure. Number seven, rubbing the left little finger joints helps prevent heart disease. Heart disease is related to the circulatory system, which can affect your energy levels, dyspnea, heart palpitation, chest pain, and edema can occur when heart disease occurs. People with heart disease can rub the joints of the little finger of the left hand regularly to relieve these symptoms. Number eight, rubbing the thumb of the left hand helps prevent liver disease. Liver disease mainly refers to the lesions that occur on the liver including hepatitis B, hepatitis A, hepatitis C, liver cirrhosis, fatty liver, liver cancer, alcoholic liver, and other liver disease. Prevention is the key. The liver is the largest and the most important digestive organ in our body. And it also it's an essential organ for detoxification and organizing so many important functions in our body. How to improve your liver function with your fingers? You can massage the two joints of the left thumb to prevent liver disease and improve your liver function. Number nine, rubbing the ring fingers of both hands help relieve tinnitus. Tinnitus is a result of different health challenges that affect the auditory system. The etiology is relatively complicated. Most people have tinnitus symptoms because they are too stressed or due to complications of other health challenges. When this happens, you can rub the three joints of the ring fingers of both hands to effectively relieve it. Number 10. Rubbing the left thumb helps manage diabetes. Diabetes is mainly a metabolic disease with either hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. Diabetes can damage the eyes, kidneys, heart, blood vessels, nerves, etc. We can rub the two joints of the left thumb regularly, which can help control blood sugar and relieve the complications of diabetes. Number 11. Rubbing the middle finger of the right hand relieves eye fatigue. Eye fatigue is the most common challenge to many of us these days due to the screening time with digital devices. Eye fatigue can lead to dry eyes, blurred vision, and even 
vision loss directly affecting our daily life. We can press and rub the three joints of the ring, right middle finger regularly to effectively relieve these symptoms of eye fatigue. And the result is pretty good. Number 12. Rubbing the index finger of both hands helps regulate menstruation for women. Menstrual cramps are one of the most common symptoms for women, which affect the quality of life for females. Menstrual cramps are often accompanied by nausea, cold sweat, fatigue, and other symptoms. You can effectively alleviate these symptoms by pinching the three joints of the index fingers of both hands. It is best to start before the onset of menstruation. Number 13. Pressing, rubbing, shaoshang acupoint elevates pneumonia. Shaoshang acupoint lies on the inner side of thumb, proximal to the medial border of the nail where it meets the base of the nail. Many causes can trigger pneumonia, mainly due to infections of various bacteria, viruses, fungi, etc. The onset of pneumonia can be irritating and the typical symptoms of pneumonia are high fever, cough, sputum, chest pain, dyspnea, etc. Shaoshang acupoint is the last acupuncture point of the lung meridian. The energy of the lung meridian enters the beginning of the large intestine meridian. This spot on the thumb can help elevate pneumonia and other health, challenge, health challenges. You can also use a cotton swab to press this acupoint on both hands. But you have to be gentle and don't hurt your fingers. Number 14. Pressing and rubbing the Shangyang acupoint on the index finger helps relieve numbness in the hands and the feet. Shangyang acupoint is on the radial end of the distal phalanx of the index finger. Point one swing distance from the corner of the nail. This acupoint is in the large intestine meridian, which can relieve the numbness in the hands and feet, especially for seniors. Number 15. Pressing and rubbing the Guanchong acupoint on the ring finger helps relieve conjunctivitis. This acupoint is on the outer side of the distal phalanx of the ring finger, point one swing distance from the nail. The main function of this point is to reduce the heat and improve blood circulation, which can effectively, effectively relieve conjunctivitis and uh, its complications. I hope you enjoy the information. If you would like to learn more about the amazing healing power of acupoints from the ancient wisdom of TCM, you could check my book, 8 8 Most Important First Aid Acupoints for Self Care from TCM. This book includes 88 most important acupoints from the ancient wisdom of TCM for self care. It is designed in a beautiful and a colorful art fashion, which is very visual and user friendly to the readers. It can also be used to effectively manage chronic health conditions and also 
for anti-aging purposes to enhance longevity. I will add the link in the description box below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next episode.